So, despite being busy, Tisra aced a lost test. Yeah. How do you do that? Juggle well, a sick person, work, study, cat's house. I wake up every morning and I think to myself, I'll see how far I get. <laughs> <laughs> Before I collapse. <laughs> and that's basically what I do. And I do wake up early in the morning. Usually, yeah, five, six is not unusual. So, and then I try to get a bit of studying done before work or before I have to leave. And I do a little bit every day. And um, I make flashcards. That really works. It's the most effective way of learning. I read uh, some papers that said so before I started my last study. Because I used to like read a lot and then make a lot of um, notes. notes of what I read. But flashcards work better. So, And um, try to use my time efficiently. It's not like always being busy, but being very effective is really important. Well, what's impressive is the week before that test, I got a fever. Mm. And then was in terrible state, and then yeah. the next day I got a fever. Should have gone to hospital. Tester didn't feel too well, we really and then didn't feel like calling the hospital. We had to go to Amsterdam, and I was in terrible state. And somehow Tester still did well because after days of fever in Amsterdam, she went and did the test that Thursday. That was very impressive. Well, it helps if you start learning for a test like a long time before, because you never know what happens the last few yeah. days. So I started like three or four weeks beforehand already learning that really helped yeah yeah that's a good tip for those out there who are busy preparing for tests or exams yeah start on time it's also a good plan with homework in general start on time homework in general is, is yeah it's also a thing I, I plan to start on time but you know <laughs> Other things sometimes get in the way or get prioritized over and um, yeah, that doesn't always really work. But that's important if you can get the right priorities. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you can get so bogged down on a piece of homework but I am, that isn't I'm important. But I am actually lagging behind in homework. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know how much I can do while you're in Amsterdam, but well, we'll see. I just wake up every day and I see well. Yeah. We'll see how far I get today. I'm imagining I'll probably have quite a few days where I just um, will be tired and have to recover. Mm. And those are days if you're with me. I mean, if you've got some stuff with you, you can. And emotional, if, if something's like, you know, we both are quite anxious for the radiation therapy. And sometimes the emotions of that does take up a lot of energy. And uh, maybe I, I won't be able to do anything. But that's fine. Yeah. Because you're we'll, the first priority. and Yeah. We'll play it by ear. Yeah. That's one of the things I've learned through all of this is um, I used to love to plan ahead. I mean, I used to, my work planning, I used to plan three weeks ahead. So people came and said, I'd say, I can do it in three weeks' time because then I have a gap. And that, 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 I, I was as flexible as a rock, I used to say. Um, yeah. But one of the things I've learned to do is, seriously, my life these days, I wake up in the morning and I think to myself, I feel like crap, I'm going to stay in bed and then I don't do much. Or I wake up and I'm like, hey, I feel okay, I'll put on a wash, maybe I'll clean the kitchen, maybe I won't, maybe after putting the wash I'm tired, I do it per day. to plan very far ahead, like, what are we going to eat tomorrow and the yeah. day after tomorrow? And... Well, that's that little bit of but control mm, I still have, just that little bit of control. Yeah, but it's not as but bad no. as you used to, like, on Monday morning, wake me up and say, oh, what are I, we going to eat for the rest of the week? I used to and plan. I would be like, what is eating? I, <laughs> I, I took over the groceries so that I could plan the week, uh, week's meals in advance yeah. and I knew what we were eating. But yeah, I mean, now I tend to like, I get hungry and then I look like, oh yeah, food. Uh, what shall I have? Uh. <laughs> uh, yeah. But I've learned to be more that way. A bit yeah. more like, well, you know, we'll see. I do tend to like to have options. If there are eggs in the house, and there's yogurt in the house, well, we and there's leftovers in the house, and there's all sorts always. of things, then I can have a bit of an idea, but um, yeah. yeah. But I've learned to take the approach more of, we'll see per day how it goes. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna do the same thing in Amsterdam. I mean, if I wake up in Amsterdam, I'm feeling really good. I might do something. I might do some exercise there. They, I believe they've got some exercise stuff for us. Uh, maybe move around. Maybe do emails. Maybe I'll make a recording while I'm there. I might also wake up. And I mean, I had this with the last schema. I'd wake up. I'd go to the toilet and I'll go back to bed and I'll be done for the day because <laughs> uh, your body's so 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 tired and finished. So we'll just see per day how it goes. And suppose you can do the same thing. I mean if you've got some energy or some alone time and do some homework. And if not, then not. We'll yeah. see. You just yeah. play it by ear. That's usually the best thing. Yeah. And for me it works playing by ear because I'm really motivated. I don't know if it'll work for someone who's not very ambitious or motivated or proactive yeah that might not really work but yeah for me it works because and oh i yeah. do try to make like at the beginning of each week a to-do list but it's not like set in stone so if like i don't get through the to-do list in the week i just take some stuff over to the next yeah. week um but i do see you know i'll see how far i get and sometimes it works out and actually at tuesday or wednesday i'm already through my to-do list of that week and i've had pretty productive days and i'm really happy because i actually remember yeah. in the, when we were just married you used to make these to-do lists yeah yeah yeah. and then just rev this is my to-do list for the day and i would look and i think if you had help you wouldn't get through your list so she, she she's learned to make better lists i learned to make more reasonable lists yeah but yeah, I think that's the thing. Um, if you, lists. you've got to have a list of what you've got to get done. Mm -hmm. And if you are a person who's motivated in, say, it's your study and you're really motivated, then you'll get through it on your own. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you've got to also take the approach of if you're not motivated to something, or maybe it's like you don't like uh, doing housework and you've got to do some cleaning, then you've got to sort of, you know, um, um, yeah, just knuckle down, discipline, do something, you know. And, um, just put on a, a, a nice song and just, you know. Yeah. Make it like more a workout and you just like take an hour and do your whole house in an hour. Yeah. And yeah, you'll be tired afterwards. You take a shower and you go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. That's if you come home after work is a good idea to do it that way. I mean, I'll sometimes when I'm at home, I'll just also put on music and then I'll go and uh, clean up yeah. the kitchen. We um, both do sometimes yeah. like, you know, put on music and then just in an hour get more done yeah. than... We'll usually not be yeah. together because our music tastes are so different. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, very different. But yeah, it's um, look for what works with you. Sometimes what works with me is I'll have a podcast I was listening to, and I'm thinking, you know, while this podcast is going on, I can get something done. Excuse me. And then I'll um, put the podcast on or uh, a documentary that's interesting. Sometimes that also works. I mean, but if you have, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's good to uh, do that sort of combination of things if you can. Yeah. Don't take the approach of I'm going to read this difficult uh, piece of work for homework and a documentary because you'll get none of the two done. Uh, well, that, if I'm doing homework, I need like, silence. Silence. Yes. So you've got to. <laughs> no um, distractions. Well, you can combine things. Ho housework and a noise work well together. Homework yeah. is generally better in silence. Yeah. Unless, of course, you're one of those people that uh, if you have like classical music or whatever type of music that it really helps you with the, the homework, then that's it fine. Work doesn't have to I used to be able to do that I mean um, not classical music I used to I, I like to put on a bit of a grunge or metal and then do uh, maths homework then because then um, like the classical works music. together but then I could do it that way but I mean it, it differs per person but you've got to look at I suppose who you are what works for you and then just um, yeah do it and sometimes you got to experiment I mean, if you think, well, I've never done it, well, try one day doing homework with classical music. If it doesn't work, then don't. Try other music. You know, um, just, do, yeah. just do half an hour or an hour, and then you'll be amazed what you sometimes can get done in an hour, yeah. just an hour. Sometimes know? that's the idea. Yeah. Tisha taught me this trick, because sometimes I was like, oh, I don't want to do something. But, like, you know, you just set a timer. Yeah. 45 minutes going to do, do as something as much as you can in and 45 boom. minutes and yeah. then afterwards and then after the 45 minutes you reward yourself you say then yeah. i'll have lunch or i'll sit down and have a cup of coffee or i'll watch that film i wanted to watch or i'll whatever it is you wanted to YouTube do YouTube film <laughs> yeah subscribe to my channel um <laughs> but uh, you can you can do whatever it was you wanted to do after you did that 45 minutes or hour or whatever it is and sometimes you've got to do an estimate like you know an hour is what i need to get my house sorted out or um it's a hard piece of homework if i can spend half an hour really on it then i yeah. get far that's and you I've estimate had and you go of for homework it. that i spent three hours on and still wasn't done <laughs> but yeah yeah but you've got to yeah. sort of um 
motivate yourself to get it done. Yeah. Yeah. But you'll be amazed what you can do in an hour. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well. Tip from Gert and Tesra. About studying. <laughs> <laughs>